Hello Cancer, thank you so much for joining me today. It's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Um, this reading is going to look at your energies between the 14th to the 20th of December or thereabouts, Cancer. I've done a pre-shuffle of the cards to get your energies into the cards. So let's do a final shuffle now and get on, get on and get into your reading. So a final shuffle of the um, Tarot of Dreams. And then we'll have what's at the heart of your reading, um, a situation or an energy combination, what you're thinking about at this time, uh, the root of the matter, past influences, and then the future going forward, and then just something else the universe would like to say to you at this time. And at the bottom of the deck, I think I've done them all upside down. I, I, <laughs> no worries. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Fool, and this is about uh, a new beginning in some area, perhaps a leap of faith. Um, but we'll, I'll just put those down for now, and then we'll just do a, a final shuffle of the Lightseer's Tarot. I'll just lay these down on top for a little bit of a um, little bit of depth and clarity. And at the bottom of this deck, we have the Page of Pentacles, um, and the pages are the messengers of the Minor Arcana. And so, this is a message to do with something to do with money, um, or a, a gift of some sort, or an opportunity, and um, to do with perhaps work, career. Um, but I'll just put that down. So. We, we think about, we had the full energy, didn't we, which is about a leap of faith, taking a new beginning in some area. And it looks like we've got the message. For some of you, there's a message going to be coming through. Okay. All right, Cancer. Um, it is a general reading, so um, it will resonate with some of you, but perhaps not with all of you. So take what resonates with you. And... Okay. So we have the star and we have the tower. So the star energy, this is about having hope, faith, um, achieving balance um, and um, optimism um, and sometimes healing as well. There's a healing energy within the star energy. It's a beautiful energy. But the clarifier is the tower and the tower is when... Something is being raised to the ground. There's um, something is being cleared um, because it's no longer benefiting you in some way. It's not beneficial in some way. So, or it's just um, the fact that you know something has come to the end of its time, if you like. Um, and often, the, you know, with the tower, it's a bolt of lightning coming down from the universe and bringing the tree down or, or the tower down um, because it's, on, it's now on faulty foundation or, it, or it's crumbling anyway. So it's almost like a gift of love, really, from the universe just to clear, clear it away. But, you see, if it comes very suddenly, it can be like a bit of a shock. It can be a bit alarming to a greater or a lesser degree. Um, it'll be something different for all of you. It's, for some of you, Cancer, you'll probably be hearing some news or becoming aware of something or, or f seeing something or finding something out that's um, a bit of a shock. All right, for some of you. Um, but this is the clarify for the star. So, um, and remember, the star brings in hope and balance and healing as well. So let's wait, see where this is going. So what are you thinking about at this moment, Cancer? So we've got the Ten of Coins and the Two of Pentacles. And the Ten of Coins um, is when uh, abundance is waiting for us. So you can see here there's an archway and you've just got to walk a little bit more to go through the archway. Um, and that's where the abundance of um, uh, abundance energy is waiting. And, and this is what you're thinking about. Um, perhaps the direction to go to achieve this abundance um, 
whatever that means, whether it's to do with money, work and career or, or something else or, or a different um, energy or focus. Um, but the Ten of Coins is very much about uh, abundance in the family. Um, a, a family um, energy that, you know, um, is very optimistic and positive. And, and everybody in the family having what they need, if you like. And this is what you're thinking about. Um, now, the Two of Pentacles is about something, something not being balanced, something being out of balance. Um, and there's something up in the air that you're not aware of at this time. Or you may be, but you, you can't see it at this time. Um, and it's to do with a, a slight imbalance to, and it's to do with um, a family situation. Okay, let's see where we're going. So what's at the root of this? Well, um, for some of you we have the Lover's card and we have the Three of Cups. Um, the Lover's card, this is a, a very intimate relationship. And the Three of Cups is about a third party situation. Um, and third party could be either um, somebody else um, getting in between a relationship um, or it could be one party, somebody having an addiction, uh, an obsession or a preoccupation, that sort of an energy, which gets in between, um, in, in between a relationship, which interferes um, with the smooth running and the closeness um, of a relationship. The pure meaning of the Three of Cups is about celebration with community, family, friends. Um, however, for me, it, it really does often refer to a third party situation. And of course, this has come out with um, the Lover's Card, which is about um, a, a relationship. So this is at the root of this situation. So a third party situation for some of you within a relationship is at the root of or a hidden influence to do with a tower, something being cleared, a bit of a, um, a shock news perhaps coming in. Um, but remember, we have the star. The star is at the heart of it, which is about, um, as I've already said, it's about having hope, holding on to hope and achieving balance and, and patience as well. It's all those beautiful energies. Now... The past influences, we have the strength card and we have the death card, the death and rebirth card. Um, so the strength, this is about inner strength. So Cancer, this is about your inner strength. Um, you can see here, you've, you, you've, got, you've tamed the tiger, the tiger in your belly, if you like. Um, but you've got it under control. Um, but you will allow the tiger to roar um, if, when need be. So, you know, this is about your inner strength, um, having control and power within yourself. Now, the clarifier is something to do with um, a death and rebirth. So something ended in the past, something ended, but then but ready for a brand new beginning, a, a transformation process, a rebirth process. Okay. Now, going forward, um, Cancer, for some of you, we have the Ten of Swords and the Five of Swords. Um, the Ten of Swords, as you can see here by the picture, this is when we feel we've been stabbed in the back, we've been betrayed, and it's caused a lot of heart pain. Um, but when the Ten of Swords comes forward, this, this is starting to ease, if you like. This very difficult and painful situation um, is starting to ease. This is going forward, so it will start to ease. Um, however, you, you're still going to feel um, the after effects. And I feel um, as somebody moves on um, quite happily, um, the person left behind um, is, is has got a lot of mental conflict and torment. So... There's been an easing of a difficult situation. There will be going forward. And there will be a level of success 
in that. But with any any um, separation, it you know it it it's difficult, isn't it? It it's there can be a, a grieving process, a a sense of loss, if you like. Um, even though it's something that that's meant to happen, that needed to happen, there will be you know you're left with this sort of a, a sense of loss. So you know sometimes victory and success um, can be hollow, can't it? Because of how it's it leaves us feeling. Okay. Now, this is something that the universe wants to say to you, Cancer. For, for those of you that this reading has meaning for, we have the world and the Ten of Cups. And the universe wants to say that there is a completion of a cycle now. Um, there's an ending of a cycle that, that needed to end, um, ready for going forward and a new beginning. And, you know, we have the Ten of Cups here, which is uh, abundance in the family, lots of love and happiness within a relationship. Um, so as one cycle comes to an end, you know, you've got a lot to look forward to. There will be, you are going to have your Ten of Cups um, energy. So, you know, as one of one comes to an end, and you see in the middle there, we have the fall energy in the middle, which is because it's a new beginning coming in, you know, and there it is, the fall energy, the new beginning, a leap of faith in some way. Um, and, the, and then, of course, the clarifier, uh, the lovely Ten of Cups, happiness, joy, love, um, um, positivity, you know, going forward within the family situation. Uh, but the, because the world, the the completion has to happen first. You know, it's you know to achieve this, we have to have the completion first. For some of you. Um, all right. Uh, now then. Okay. Let me see. I'm just going to ask for some more information to do with the Ten of Swords and the Five of Swords. So if you just bear with me a little minute, Cancer. Could we have some more information to do with the Ten of Swords and the Five of Swords, please? The Ten of Swords and the Five of Swords, please. A little bit more information to do with um, the Ten of Swords and the Five of Swords, please. So the clarify for the Ten of Swords, we have um, the Seven of Pentacles, and this is when um, it's not quite the right time for something. Uh, it's, it's not far off, it's just got to wait a little bit longer. Just got to wait a little bit longer for this situation to ease, if you like. Um, and then for the Five of Swords, we've got the Seven of Cups here, the Seven of Chalices. And this is saying you're going to have options and choices. Options and choices going forward um, as this um, this painful situation starts to ease. I just got to wait a little bit longer for that, and I think if you remember what you were thinking about, is you just got to wait a little bit longer for this beautiful abundance within the family situation. Um, and yes, you're going to have options and choices, and you're going to feel a lot, a lot, a lot lighter within yourself, uh, Cancer. Okay. I'm just going to get a little bit more information to do with the lovers and the three of cups, which is at the root of the situation. I'm sure for whoever this reading is for, you probably have a good understanding about what that is. But I, um, I'm just going to get a little bit more information. So could could we have a bit of clarity to do with the lover, lovers and the three of cups, please?
So for the, the lover, um, this is the root of the situation or, or hid, hidden influences, something to do with um, a close relationship. Um, and ha trying to put the barriers up to hold the tide back. So something, the waters were coming in, the waters of emotions and, and you know, in the past, trying to hold the waters back, if you like, trying to defend yourself, protect yourself or protect a situation. Um, and try, yes, to put in sandbags up, trying to hold the waters back, trying to hold something back um, in the past. And so, yes, and so with the Three of Cups, um, justice. So there's been an injustice. For some of you, there's been an injustice in the past, and it's and it's been it has been going on for. So I think this third party situation has been going on for quite a while. Um, and it was an injustice for some of you and so it, there was a need for the scales to be balanced um, for what you know that what has been done to be put right if you like so the universe I feel the universe then sort of sent this tower moment um, because it something need to be cleared something needs to be cleared um, but you remember you've got this beautiful star energy there as well so there's lots of hope here um, and an underbalance okay um, I think I'm going to leave that part of the reading there I'm just going to ask for could we have two more messages please to round this reading up um, for cancer this is these are the sacred traveler cards oracle cards two more messages please for cancer the 14th to the 20th of december thank you So we have embracing enthusiasm, shout to the heavens with happiness. So there's lots of happiness coming in. We've got the butterflies of transformation there for you. Um, lot, lots to look forward to, I feel. Um, cancer. So hopefully you can lift, lift your energy um, for those that this reading has meaning for. Um, because this transformation process is happening. And we've seen that with the tower um, and the justice card. And because sometimes, you know, we, we can't keep holding back the waters, can we? Or somebody can't. Um, all right, so shout to the heavens with happiness. Lovely energy coming in for you. Um, and the wandering path. Um, enjoy the journey, Cancer. Um, I feel you're being guided. You're being guided. Um, and here we are, with, uh, the fox has got his map and the compass. And, you know, wherever this journey is going to take you, um, enjoy the process, Cancer. I feel you've got quite a bit to look forward to, some of you. Well, I'm going to leave it there, Cancer. Um, for though this, this reading is for, I, I hope it's um, had some meaningful meaning for you and that it's perhaps um, clarified some things and um, given you a bit of support and guidance. Uh, but in any event... Um, Thank you for joining me at this time. Good luck going forward and I hope you can join me again in the future. Bye bye for now.